Hmm. Hey Ayon. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, good. That's good to hear. Alright. Uh, let's see if the other guy comes. What other guy? Uh, the other guy that was here last time. Oh, okay. Let me pull up my All right, let's see. Let me just do some simple stuff while we wait. Did I do this? I don't know if you'll be able to. Let's see, multi. Okay. What did we learn about last class? Let me I, check. I am last class we learned about strings. Okay. Let me okay. just check. Uh, uh what what what? Oh uh, okay. I guess I didn't teach on this account. Or I might have labeled, or I might have, yeah, I named it. There we go. Now, let's see here. Cool. I'm just going to link all this. I'm just going to take all of this and paste all of here. And, yeah. There we go. All right, cool. Here, oh, there we go. Here's the guy. All right, welcome back. Let's first start uh, with some reviews. So here's some, here's some code you guys can do for review. Uh, so yeah, this is a review of strings, variables, numbers, comments, uh, multi-lined, uh, string concaction. Uh, if statements and uh, for I and range range statements for loops. So yeah, you run it. I'll just give them to like five, fifteen for this. That's like what? Uh, I want to say like ten minutes, maybe twelve. So yeah. And you can let me know if you have any questions uh, during this process. All right.
Any questions so far? All right, guys, how are we doing on the code? I'm good, but if I run it, I might come into an error problem. Yeah, don't run it until you finish. And I'm afraid that if... <sighs> okay. I'm almost done. Just give me a few more minutes. All right.
All right. Let me see here. Five thirteen. All right. Hey, on. Yeah. I think I got an error. You got a what? An error. Okay. Can you help me? What's the error saying? Because chances are it's debuggable without you sharing your screen. I'm not sharing my screen. Yeah, I know. I'm saying chances are I don't need to sh you to share your screen. What's the What's the bug? What? What's the what does the bug say? You have an error, right? What does it say? File. Didn't that error? It's All right. Why don't you uh tell what is this line on? Is it because you didn't indent or something? Thirteen. All right. Uh, let me see here. So this line? No, thirteen. Line thirteen. Oh, uh, did you forget a colon here? Uh, it's actually on line thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and seventeen. All right. Why don't you share? Yeah. You're right. I don't know what this error is. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's because you didn't put a colon. You put a semicolon. What's the difference? Um, Python likes colons. How do not semicolons? No idea. So... For you need to put a colon here, there should be quotes here. Uh mm -hmm. this should be indented. Uh let's see. Oh boy. Alright, uh this should be deleted. Just that little uh curly and put it you should put it here instead. And you're missing a line. Uh, do you want me? Do you want to do it? No, I have an idea. Could you uh do do control A? What's control A? Cool. And now right click on that. Cool. Now go to um AI and A? select modify. Do control I. Cool, and now uh -huh. type in fix the errors. Where? Where it says modify, click there. Uh -huh. Now type in fix errors. Fix. What? Oh. No, yeah, type fix. It's not letting me type. Here, let me do it. Let me, I'll do you the control and you can do it. Okay. Here. All right. Uh, you just have to click here and type in fix. Errors. That was all. Oh, wow. I never know I didn't do that. Yep, I'm glad they added that. Saves a lot of time. Yeah. All right, uh, Suhas, how's it going? 
Were you able to finish? Suhas, are you there? Suhas? Suhas, were you able to finish the code? It said no errors for me. What happened? It said no errors for me. He also, he also got error. You got an error? Yeah, he said it. Oh, Suhas got an error, okay. Oh, no errors for Suhas, okay. Sahi, did you get an error? It's Sachi, but no. Okay, cool, then we're good. I feel to move on, right? Yeah. Cool. I don't think there's anything else left to do. So let's move mm -hmm. on. So right now, there's two types of uh, conditional statements. We have a, a for loop, and we have a uh, we have an if statement. That's technically a conditional statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, try a new conditional statement, which is the while loop. So let's do that. All right, so let's do that. In order to do that, we just literally have to type in like while and let's set a condition. So we'll say a is less than Zero, a less than zero print negative a plus plus a plus equal one so I'll print a negative for a while but it'll be fine at the end Ion can you hear me Sudeep Padmashal. Yes, I can. Padmashal. Sudeep Padmashal. Yeah, hello? Where are you? Where are you? Hey, Suhas. Yes, uh, Zachi, what's up? Nothing. You didn't continue. Okay. Cool. So, if you guys could uh, try out the uh, code, that that's a while loop. If you guys also want, you can print the number. So just add print a, and that will um, that will show you what the number is currently on. I don't get it. I on. Yeah. I didn't get it. Okay. Uh. So just write that while loop I wrote, and if you want to see the number, write a print statement for it. Okay. And what's that a supposed to be? I on. Yeah. What's that A supposed to be? So A is a variable that we defined here. If you did not, if you didn't use the letter A, then you're gonna have to use a different uh, letter. I use multiple letters in mine. Huh? For mine, I use multiple letters. 
Well, you want to use the one that you assigned a number to. Like, I mean, technically you can use, uh, so in my case, I have A and Y, both of them are numbers. So if you want, you can use uh, either. So I could technically use Y if I wanted to. I use S. Can I use that then? Yeah, as long as you set it to a number, not text. Yes, yes. Okay. Why not? Why not text? Because we're trying to add numbers to it, and you can't add okay. numbers to text. Okay. You already mm. ready. All right. Any other questions? No. Cool. Nice. Any questions or? Are we good to move on? Yes. All right, let's move on then. So uh, we learned about these types of loops. So now mm -hmm. while loops, there's not much you can really do besides uh, print continuously. So there's different situations where you would use each of these loops. So first of all, an if statement is if you need to make the decision, you would use an if statement. If you want to repeat uh, some code a certain number of times and you know how many times you want to repeat. Uh, or loop. It's, excuse me, Ayan. Yeah. Um, can I let me share my screen for one second. I kind of made a mistake. Okay. Um. 
<clears throat> on line, line 14, I don't want an A, I want an S. Is that why I didn't change it? Um, you could just uh, delete the A and change it to S. Okay. But it still showed me A. It didn't yeah, change. Yeah, because you got to run it again. It's still showing me A. That means that you changed the wrong line. It's saying less than. So you need to change line number 19, I think. Okay, my bad. 16, never mind. Yeah. All right. All right, then what? let's move on. Um, I on. Yeah. The other it says A is less than 25, but I changed it yeah. to A. Yeah, that's because that's an old piece of code. You will need to uh, delete okay, yeah, everything. I got it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. You can run it more than once, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. Cool. All right, let me just share again. All right, so we learned about different loops. Let's not put them in different situations. So we're going to just do four character in. So I have a string, which is hello world. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to say for character in X print character. So character is just a fancy word for letter. So this is just going to print everything inside hello world. It's going to go H-E-L-L-O world. Where's the W? Wait. What happened? In hello, do we not spell it with H-E-L-L? O W. Yeah. Wait. Hello. Yeah. It's H E L L O. Oh. Man. All right. Are we good to go? No, that's there was a minute. All right. All right.
All right. How are we doing? Horrible. Ah. Uh, what? What's up? Let me share my screen, please. Well, is it? It might be fixable. What's wrong? It's not fixable. Oh. Is it an error or like? It's a syntax error. That's probably fixable. Hmm. Uh, screen and plus, I don't have all these arrows. Only one is missing. Is one it is like missing. more than one? Or... Yeah, it's more than one. You see? Here, let me show you. Hold on, let me show you. Um, you see these arrows you have? No, only one missing one. Mm -hmm. You see you see that arrow I circled? That line? Yes, it's an arrow, oh. yeah. I don't have that on mine. That's because you didn't put a colon and this isn't indented then. Can you please fix it? Well, all you have to do is just go here, hold shift and type a semicolon. <laughs> And then when you hit a new line, it should be indented. Assuming you typed in everything correctly. It's on one line only. No, see, ah, uh, And what's those arrows for next to the number ion? Um, it's that kind of a, like if you have a really long program, what you can do is use those. Those arrows will collapse really long bits of code into short ones, uh, depending what, on how long a for loop is or so. What do you mean? Like if I have a really long for loop with a lot of code in it, but I I don't need to look at it anymore. I can just collapse it. So that the code's more readable. Can you show me? Uh, I don't really have an example. This code isn't that long. Okay. I'm done. What should I do now? Uh, let's see. Suhas, are you done too? Oh. Okay. If Suhas is done, then we can wheel on. Thank you. Suhas, you done? Uh, I on? Yeah. It's still showing me an error. What's the error? I don't know. But what does it say? Syntax error. Which Again. line? 22. In my code, what line would that be? A plus one. Well, it should be A plus equals one. Yeah, let me share my screen. Because mine so will be... I, I, I no, mine it. will be this. Mine will be... He fixed it? Okay. One. It's still showing an error. Well, you can share your screen. And stop no, sharing. Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, yeah, you didn't, your variable is always L for love, so it wouldn't be X. I, uh, you have to use the variable number, so you could either mm -hmm. use X or you could use, no, this is supposed to be a string. You don't have a string because you redefined it. What so you, you have mean? to create a string. So originally you have L equals love, right? But in, yeah. I would tell you to use L, but then you repainted L over with the number 20 on line four. So yeah. it's no longer usable. So, so you're going to change yeah, you're that? Gonna have to create, you have to create your own, a, a second variable that's a string. So like, what do you mean? Like, how, how should I do it? Just do like variable name, like 
a is equal to hello or something. It's not, it doesn't have to be like a very complicated thing. So like, can I say s equals to Sachi? Sure. S equals to Sachi. Is that good? Uh, Sachi should be in quotes. All right. Oh, in quotes. Okay, my bad. Not brackets. Yes, yeah, Sahi should be in quotes. It's Sachi. Okay. Not Sahi. Is that good? No. Uh, it should be in quotes. The orange oh. one. No, no. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Is this good, Ion? Uh, I mean, you don't need the parentheses. Uh, otherwise, it should be fine, yeah. Let me see now. Hold on. One. It's still trying in uh well that's because you started off with the single quote and ended with the double. You gotta keep it consistent. If you're gonna start with a double, then you end with the double. Okay, can you fix that for me? But it's just like one thing to fix. It is good to double one another. Okay, now let's see if it works. It's still showing in our um uh, ion. Where? Where's the error? Line twenty-two. Oh yeah, because you have to change it from X to uh S. S. Okay. It's still showing an error. Well, give it like a second. You already what? have an S? Oh yes. my god. Man, all right. Then we have to use a different letter than S. Put it as like Y or something. How about A M? That's my last name. Sure, anything works, but you can't. It can't keep using variable names. It's going to get, like, you got to uh, oh, diversify I, the letters. You can't I'm just not use... take... What were you huh? saying? Because, like, it says on... I did M, and I didn't use M anywhere else, and it says... Yeah, M would work, but, like, uh, stuff like S, you've already used, so you can't just use it twice. But it's saying on... It ever came back, and it's saying... It's wrong on the same line on 22. Yeah, because I didn't know that you changed S from a from the string that you defined it as to a letter. Oh. So go back to where you said uh, S equals sa Sachi's. Yeah. Yeah, on line uh, 4, change the S to a M. Perfect. Now go back to, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Now, 
don't run that because you did not um you did not unindent so what we're gonna do is after it says uh you see where it says f and four where right here the second one line 22 yeah uh, you want to go behind the F. So go to the, yeah, go behind the F. Yeah, and hit backspace. Now hit delete. Delete? Yeah. And now try running that. Yay, okay. Okay. Let me just delete the other ones. Yeah. Really giving mm -hmm. me a run. All right, cool. Uh, Suhas, were you able to finish? Did you? You still there, Suhas? He might have left. I have no idea. All right. Um. Ah. He's he's here, but his camera and mic is off. Well, he's in the Zoom meeting, but he could have left in person. Yeah, he's... Right. Um, what should we do next? See, the thing I want to do next, I'm like ninety percent sure it will. Hmm. I'm not sure if it will fit. What do you mean? Well, time wise, because it took so long to debug your code. I'm sorry. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, what can we do that wouldn't take too long? I have... Mm. Can we change the text color? Text color isn't a thing in Python. This is all console. It's only HTML? Yeah, this is... That was console-based. Can we change the background color? Again, that was console-based. That was oh, HTML okay. only, by the way. Oh. Okay. What about what the um related to other related to Python? Oh. Did you think of anything? Um I cannot think of anything from the top of my head. Yeah, mm, I'm trying to think about it. Damn, okay. Uh, I guess like a counting system would, would work. Counting uh, system? What do you mean? We'll make a sub-zero system, so it'll keep on deducting until you reach zero. So, oh, wait. Yeah. Um, I aren't. Yeah? Let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. Where it says hello world in separate... Letters. Yeah. Why is not doing that for mine? Oh yeah, That's I see because... it. Now. Yeah, yeah, I okay. see it. I see it. Okay. What were you saying? We're gonna be making a program that will make me broke. So we have a variable called cash, and each time, we're trying to spend all our cash. All right. So we're going to print it, and then we're going to minus it like so. And now we are broke. What do you mean we broke? It'll just go backwards. Six five four three two one eight. What if we don't want it? What if we want the money back? How do you do that? Uh, well, that this is just a simple thing, so we don't really need to do that. Do I have to do it? I mean, I not aren't... really, no. You have to do this for loop, but you don't have to do the money back system. Which for loop? The while? The yeah. while? Uh-huh. Okay. But I don't have to add the word cash, but I do need to add the exclamation and then equals to right. Uh, what? Right. So, like, I don't need to add the word cash in it, right? I can just... Add a while and then an exclamation mark 
and then equals to and then a number. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hey, Ayan. Yeah. Um, can you fix my syntax devil? What's wrong with your syntax? Twenty-four. But what's what's the error saying? Uh, uh line. It's just saying it's saying just line twenty-four. I don't know. It doesn't say anything else. It just says line twenty-four. Yeah. What happens if you run the project? It will say it again. Does it say like end of file or something? Nope. It, oh. You want me to share my screen? Yes, actually I do. I've never seen it just hang on a single line. Do you see it now? Well, because you didn't finish it. And it I also did. says No, nah, there was two lines. You you're missing like a I lot said, of I said while cash. No while and then exclamation. Alright. Look, and look then... here. First of all, there were four lines and you only wrote one, so that's why it caused the error. And second of all, there it did tell you what the error was. It said invalid syntax because you had an indented block without any uh, exceptions. What do you mean? Um, that doesn't really matter. The important thing is that uh. You just need to finish writing the rest of the code in order for it to work. Okay. Um, the press down there is not. Hey, are you on? Oh. <laughs> Do I have to write the word cash in it? Come again? Do I have to write the word cash again? Do I have to write the word cash? Yeah, you, you need that variable. Okay.
Nossa. All right. All right then, Suhas, are you there? That's so All right. Class is almost over. Do we have any questions? Hey, on. Yeah. Can you let me share my screen again? All right, what's wrong? Same that Emma. All right. Oh. All right, let's see here. Uh, well, uh, the issue is that on line 24, um, Uh, did you buy it? Uh, hold up. Uh, mm -hmm. on line 24, you, you have to unindent, uh, the cash variable. So, instead of it being slightly indented, you should unindent it. What do you mean? How do you do that? Uh, you see the spaces between the line and the word? You just need to delete that. Now, can I run it? Yeah. Ooh, okay. And how long will that go? Uh, how long will what go? The numbers? Okay, how long will that go? How long will it stop? Oh. Oh, oh, you didn't. Okay, hold up. Hit stop. Right, so did you uh, use the numbers that I gave you? No. Yeah, that would cause an error because uh, the numbers I put in were uh, designed so that they would actually stop the while loop after a certain amount of time. Oh. Like, you could set cash to whatever you wanted as long as it was positive, but the uh, while I, statement um... had to be a certain number. So which one is wild statement? This one. Where you said wild cash not equals to thirty. Oh, that sorry. has to be a that has to be zero. Okay. And, yes, you do need to also make sure that you're minusing cash by one each time. Okay, now can I run it? Uh, yeah, that should uh, that should fix it. No, it did not. Did you minus cash by one? Oh, one? Why not nine? Why not eight? After nine comes eight, right? Well, you need to minus it by one because uh, because you're trying to reach zero. If you go down an eighth, you're going to go past zero. We said okay. it, it should stop exactly at zero. Okay, perfect. Plus, you can't mm -hmm. really go in debt now, can you? 
So yeah, you I did it. You really don't want to go into negatives. So that that's okay. why we're yeah. using one. And how do I save this? There you go. No more errors. All right. Um, how do I save? Again, uh, I'll show. So wait. Let me share. Where is it? Here. So in order to save it, just click on this name here. Click on here. Type in whatever you want here. Hit enter. You'll reload the repo. And save it under the new name. So for example, here, since I... Does it, uh, I'll, just, I'll just share this in chat. It's fine. Call it Python day three. Then I'll, I'll oh, I right, cool. What is this? Oh, okay. Closed mini map. I would love a mini map of blocks. That sucks. Oh, All right. Oh, that's cool. Little mini map. So glad they added that. I love the mini map. All right. Why I will share the link. Here's the link to join. In case you want to see my code. Otherwise, that's it for today. Bye. Um, I on? Yeah. Um, hold on. Where am I? For mine? Uh-huh. Um. No, sorry, sorry. Are we good? So yeah, for mine, where do I go next? Uh, you finished. You're done. The class is over. No, I know, but where do I save? Where do I press save? It it saves automatically. So when I go back, right? Uh huh. Uh, how do I go back? I on. Uh huh. How do I go back? Um, just uh, go to my repls. With my repls. I can't. All right. Go so back. first, no. First, you need a. First, you need to name it. Yeah, that's the description. Yep, we go to. The, yep, okay, sure. Name it whatever you want. Uh huh. Looks like so many more. Uh huh. Oh, you named it. Cool. Now just uh exit out of that. Just like click on your code box. Oh my yeah, god. Bye, Suhas. Man, why is it not saving? That's wild. Call it like SSS. Okay, SSS. You already have yeah. You already have a REPL with this name. Call it like SSS or something. Yeah. Cool. Now exit out. There you go. Now, if you go, there you go. That's named. Anything else? How do I go back? All right. Okay. In order to go back, you need to uh click where this little three icon is. No, not that icon. Uh... Not, not that. No, no, not there where? either. Where? The little three REPL dot. Right here. Yes. Oh, uh, and then you're gonna go my repls, yeah. or either that that works too. Oh yeah, I see it. There you go, SSS. All right, bye. How do I? Oh damn. See ya. Bye. Bye. Lord.